there are many classifications of animals but one creature which fits in all the three classifications be it terrestrial be it arboreal be it marine or aquatic that is snake here we have two kinds of snake just rescued from the same area in this box you can see it is a russell swiper juvenile you cannot say juvenile it's a baby russell swiper and in the other box we can see a green pit viper aka bamboo pit viper coexistence is a theory which is talked about a lot among the people wherein people ask when we release certain snakes or two different species of snake in a uh, in its in same area they ask why do you release snakes in the same area this is the answer to those questions that snakes or any other animal they actually coexist in the same area or in the same uh, vicinity you can say because this is what the nature does if they do not coexist with each other the balance of the nature will shatter within seconds and it will be the worst part wherein you will be see seeing a lot of destruction first of all we are about to release this terrestrial russell's viper vipers are the most feared snakes so you can say these are the nightmares for anyone be it a common man or a snake rescuer or anyone among these the most feared one is this russell swiper in the southern eastern asia or you can say the whole asia this snake is feared a lot it can be thought of same as the black mamba of africa as people feared a fear a lot for black mamba they do have the same kind of fear for russell swiper while rescuing these snakes can be very unpredictable and since you can see these are very this uh, uh, particular species is very small this particular specimen is very small it may be thought as uh, the baby python by lot many people but it is not viper why do people think russell swiper as a python because of uh, you can see the structure of body and the shape of head it's uh, just a little bit longer head and the structure of body or the girth of the body is little more uh, higher proportion than comparing to the length of the body but the identification for a russell swiper is very easy by looking at the triangular heads and the chain pattern of oval shaped pattern you can see all over its body on the lateral side on the top side and it runs from the head head side to the tail if you can see so we are about to release this baby russell swiper in this terrestrial area and it will gradually or you can say very fastly it will move and they are very swift you can see it's how beautifully these russell swiper camouflages in its surrounding it's just licking out its its tongue to have a sense of the environment which is by capturing the molecules in the air and then throwing it to its jacobson organ moving around its environment it senses all the area around it and they are very actually capable of doing that with very high effectiveness through their tongue they sense all the molecules that are floating which are left by some mammals or maybe some other animals and they just catch these molecules and take them to their jacobson organ which exactly tells them that what actually they are encou encountering with it tells them the size of the uh, you can say if it is a predator or their food or whatever it may be snakes are among the most modified creatures you can see though they don't have any sort of limbs but yes they are amongst the most modified species now we are coming on to the next one now talking about this species of snake they are true arboreal snakes and uh, you can see how beautifully it is uh, just uh, sticking and it is now having a defensive posture since it is uh, looking at us as a as a threat so it actually wants to counter us but uh, since we know that we are not going to attack it but 
it is actually countering us by this uh, classic defensive posture of a uh, true viper now talking about the venom of uh, these two snakes the one which you have seen earlier a russell swiper is uh, actually having a dominant hematoxic venom though there are a, a number of cases reported where some patients have shown certain amount of neurotoxicity but that is somewhere in the southern part of sri lanka but uh, if you talk about the pit vipers especially this bamboo pit viper it has uh, hematoxic venom and certain amount of neurotoxicity though neurotoxins are not dominating but hematoxins are very predominant and they show certain kind of symptoms which may not may not lead to death may not be fatal but the amputation rate of the victims are very high patients bitten by uh, pit vipers especially bamboo pit vipers are set often have lef, uh, led to necrosis and many other kind of diseases like uh, uh, necrosis and also gangrene where in the tissues damage very brutally and they have to get their limb amputated or the part where the snake has bitten gets amputated so the only thing that when what you can do as a local eye or as a person in person what you can do is just to avoid any sort of contact with snakes if you are not aware of them you should not poke them because now you can see just we are allowing it it was in its defensive posture but we since we did not poke it with any sort of thing or stick or a leaf it start escaping by itself so this is what their nature is if you are not uh, poking them not torturing them them not tormenting them they will move out of your area by their own they actually come in our area for three of the most popular thing one is food other is regulating their body temperature and also for search of shelter since we are cut, cutting down trees chopping down trees every now and then for human population survival and for their accommodation but if you will see these animals coexisted these animals have coexisted with humans for hundreds of years thousands of years so it is our duty to respect these creatures and since they are venomous not every, each and every snake is venomous but whatever snake is venomous if you have a little bit of knowledge of them it will be uh, that is a good posture that is a yawning posture so what we were talking about that if you are having a little knowledge not of uh, snakes or about uh, these creatures but just to how to maintain the coexistence you allow them to live on their own you just let them move of their own do not poke them do not torture them then they will be moving around just they will have their food the rodents and if you don't want to have snakes around you you have to maintain the cleanliness of your vicinity that is you should not litter things around you should not make rodents to move around your houses that is the only thing you can do to uh, by maintaining cleanliness you can just have them outside of your house that is the best thing you can do maintaining cleanliness is the best way to repel any reptile especially snakes so hope uh, friends you have uh, understood our term and these two snakes they are very beautiful these two these two snakes were actually babies and uh, what you can see they actually are very beautiful on that note i would like to end this video for further information you can subscribe to our channel team asian prakriti or hum that's all for today's video jai hind vande mataram